Delaware Electric Cooperative prides itself on providing safe and affordable power to the communities we serve, but safety is always our top priority. When accidents involving electricity do occur, we want to ensure our first responders know exactly what to do and when to contact our utility crews and linemen to aid them in securing the situation. In this video, we'll discuss the procedures for handling five of the top most common electrical safety situations, including pulling meters, downed lines, equipment and power lines, energized transformers, and pole fires. We hope this information will help you, the men and women first on the scene, to keep yourselves and your community safe when dealing with electrical accidents. It's a common misconception that pulling a meter will de-energize the power lines leading to a home or building that is on fire. Depending on where the energy source enters the premises, the lines can still be hot even after the meter has been pulled. Energized meters can also cause explosions if not properly de-energized. Instead of pulling the meter, call the co-op to assist you in de-energizing the lines. If you feel you must step in, we recommend turning off the power at the fuse box, flipping the main breaker. It happens all the time. A car swerves on the road and hits a utility pole, and the lines come down. In this situation, it's important to instruct all passengers to remain inside the vehicle. If they step out and make contact with the energized ground, we have what's called a difference of potential, meaning the possibility of getting electrocuted is high. As a first responder, create a 50-foot radius around the scene of the accident, then call the utility company. While your initial instinct may be to charge head-on into the accident to help, you could also injure yourself, which won't help anyone. By contacting the utility company, you'll be able to get to the passengers much faster and safer than you could have on your own. If the vehicle is on fire and passengers need to escape, have them follow these directions. In a scenario when there's wires down on the car and the car is on fire, this is how you properly exit the vehicle. Open the door, keeping both feet together on the side and bunny hop away from the vehicle. Make sure when you bunny hop away from the vehicle, you do not come in contact with any other part of the vehicle and continue bunny hopping 30 to 50 feet away from the vehicle. When you call the co-op to report downed wires or equipment, it will be helpful to have the nearest poll number or address. Many different jobs, everything from construction to farming, require operating equipment around power lines. It's important for employees working in these fields to know where power lines are located in relation to their equipment and how to respond if they ever come into contact with energized lines. Similar to the procedure we discussed for down lines, people operating the equipment in contact with the lines must not get off that equipment. The surrounding area could be electrically charged, and stepping off or getting out could cause electrical shock. Immediately contact the utility company to ground and de-energize the lines involved. It's extremely important to know your surroundings to prevent these types of accidents from happening. Transformers are essentially contained power lines, just as powerful and possibly just as harmful. If a transformer is hit by a car or is on fire, the utility company must be called to shut them down. Otherwise, the fire will continue to burn as long as it has an energy source. Passengers in a car should also be careful. They could be in danger, just as if they were to make contact with a downed line. Order passengers in cars near downed transformers to stay inside until the utility crew arrives on the scene. Sometimes utility poles can catch fire. This could be due to a controlled burn, a house fire, or accident. Pole fires can cause lines to fall, and if this goes unnoticed, it can cause more damage than the fire itself. In some instances, these downed lines haven't been located until a few days after the fire event. If you don't know the line is there, you don't know to be concerned about it, and the consequences can be lethal. If you see a line down due to a pole fire, contact your utility company immediately. It is their job to de-energize those lines and to make sure no one who comes into contact with them is injured. It is also important to note that water may not put out a pole fire if equipment is still energized. 
As a first responder, you must wait for the power to be shut off before attempting to put out the fire. There are so many factors when dealing with electricity, but knowing when and how to proceed can mean the difference between life and death. By having an open line of communication with you and your teams, we can ensure safer conditions for everyone involved in electrical accidents. When on the scene, always remember to evaluate the situation, establish a safe perimeter around the scene, communicate and contact your utility company when electricity is involved, and don't take any unnecessary or uninformed risks. While it may be your jobs to keep the community safe, we want you to stay safe too. Stay aware, stay informed, and stay alive.